think it's uh, there for everybody to see. He's got potential that we've spoke about for a long time, and uh, hopefully now he's, he's starting to fulfil it a little bit. Uh, obviously, he had the success last season of getting to the team and a prolonged run, uh, and, and now he's got a different challenge. And he sold the jersey down and, uh, and and stake his claim in, in front of Mark uh, on a regular basis. So that's all well and good. Uh, but obviously, to get the success of, of the call ups, obviously went with the. The twenties of the World Cup in uh, in the summer, uh, and now he's kicking on again, and uh, he's obviously catching the eye of uh, the powers that be at the FA, and, uh, uh, and 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 all credit goes to George. His, his work ethic and his his buy into to everything we work on. Uh, hopefully, we'll stand him in good stead and, and give him a, a bright future. Of course, he's learning on the job here because he's playing games regularly. Mm. When he goes away with England, though, it's a, a new set of coaches, a new set of goalkeepers to work with. That's also part of the learning curve, isn't it? It is, and, and when you when you're mixing with uh, Premier League style sort of goalkeepers, I think obviously Butland springs to mind. Uh, he's obviously gone out on loan at the moment, but he's he's been touted as a uh, one of the the next bright things in in English football. So to work with them and to be exposed to the standards they set and they work at day in day out, it, it uh, refocuses George's mind as well. It's not that he's just. Uh, playing for, for, dare I say, for Sheffield United. He's aspiring to, to go on and play for uh, Sheffield United, dare I say, in the Premier League. Mm -hmm.